I'm often asked in interviews, what is the difference of positive Christianity? They say, isn't all Christianity positive? Not really. Not all faith is positive. There is a faith in a God that is out to get you. Uh, in, in a moody God, a temperamental God, a God that punishes, a God that uh, uh, brings down havoc upon humans' lives. I don't have that God, and I pray that you don't have that God, and Jesus didn't have that God. It is important to believe that good gifts are from God. And when you believe this, you know that it's, it's not like the insurance company says where they have an exclusion for uh, the will of God happening, uh, uh, an event of God. <laughs> you know, bad things do happen, but it's God that is there with you to pick up the pieces when that happens, when events come together in bad ways. We honor God by asking for great things when they are a part of God's promise. We dishonor God and cheat ourselves when we ask for molehills where God has promised mountains. Positive Christianity believes that, that God is constantly presenting you with greater good than you can even now believe and accept. It says in Luke 11, verse 11 through verse 13, If your children ask for a fish, do you give them a snake? Of course not. So if you, errorful people, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly God give the Holy Spirit to those who ask God? Now, errorful people, people filled with error. Well, that's error thinking. That is uh, believing in looking to the ground and to the appearances of problems instead of looking high in hope and faith and belief and accepting the wonderful gifts that are yours right now. The fields are white to the harvest. That means right now. God offers priceless gifts, and it would seem silly not to accept them, and yet so often we don't. Why? Well, because we fail to fully trust in a positive way our heavenly God completely, and because we are at times in our human mind and human life on our human path, inflexible. We decide on a certain way, and my golly, we want it that way, and no other way will be open to us because we close ourselves to all the other ways. Luke 11 teaches us that God does not withhold spiritual gifts from those who ask. Are you asking God today? Are you asking God to move mountains in your life? Do you expect God to help you achieve the peace and the happiness that God has promised? Are you comfortable with the direction of your future? Whatever the size of your challenges right now, stop staring at the challenges and believe that God is ready and God is willing to help you. All you have to do is to walk forward in faith. Walk forward in belief. And then watch in amazement as God works in your life. Rest assured, rest assured that God will work in your life. And God has good gifts for you. And when you hold that kind of positive faith, no matter what church you go to, you are living positive Christianity.